Well, my friends, let's go on to a very strange and unknown tall tale world where there's a story about a man who's going on a very epic journey of his life. And also one crazy story about him where he has to capture this big giant fish who had stolen his wedding ring. Weird, don't you think? Yeah, you get the picture. Well, anyway, hi, ladies and dudes. This is Rebecca Lynn Barkley, a.k.a. Boobop1987. This is my review for today. And today's review, ladies and dudes, well, my friends, we are getting one step closer to my 100th movie review. But I have no idea what it is yet, but it will come very soon, maybe around this summer, I think. But let's head on to my movie review number 99. And finally, I'm heading back to a movie that deserves to be an epic masterpiece. And I think Tim Burton finally made a great masterpiece film that we will never forget in movie history. So for my next movie review is Big Fish! Ooh, let's go out there and catch some big giant fish that came out of nowhere in a small lake or sea or something, but I don't know what it is. Ah, you get the picture. So anyway, without further ado, ladies and dudes, let's head on to my movie review number 99 of Big Fish. So let's head on to the main plot of the story. So for my main plot of the story is, it's a story about this really cool dude named Edward Bloom who is going on an epic journey into the tall tale world where he's going to so many places around the world and traveling so many good places here and there where he met a couple of people in their bare feet living in this small town or working out a short amount of a job at the circus you know, working with the wingmaster and all that stuff, or being the girl of his dreams that he fell in love with, or being some twins who are a bunch of singers, and also being this very unknown woman who is not really a woman at all. She might be this unknown creature called the Big Fish. And that's all I could say about the main plot of the story. So, I guess everybody wants to know is, what the heck do I think about this movie called The Big Fish? To tell you the truth is, ladies and dudes, I freaking love this movie. This is one of the best flawless movies of all time. Truly one of Tim Burton's best films I have ever seen in my whole entire life. I mean, this movie really did blew me away from start to finish. I did remember a long time ago, I did see this movie on HBO, and I remember I caught part of it here and there, but I think I did get to the whole entire movie thing once, but that was a while back. But I decided to rewatch this movie again and try to relive this very beautiful epic film. And to tell you the truth is, ladies and dudes, this movie really did blew me away. I mean, this movie is a one epic masterpiece. And I've been looking for an epic masterpiece film for all this time. I mean, this is a really good one. I love the storyline, I love the characters, I love the casting, I love the cinematography, I love the special effects, I love the score. Uh, I fell in love with the near ending of the movie. I think this movie has one of the best near ending things I have ever seen in movie history. And um, it does have the Tim Burton magic. We don't want to forget about... Tim Burton making a good film that involves pure magic, and this movie does prove it. So anyway, ladies and dudes, let's head on to my strongest points and the weakest points. The big fish. I will say for the strongest points for this movie is a tie. Just a tie. Between 
the fantastic all-star cast, and also the near ending. I will say for the cast, I think Tim Burton made a well-done choice of picking which actor or actress who will fit perfectly for this movie, and this movie does prove it. He picked a fantastic cast. I know a couple of actors and actresses here and there. I know Ewan, Ewan McGregor and Helen Bob Carter, Billy Crudup, Danny DeVito, and uh, this Steve guy. I think I know a little bit about this dude. I know him for a few films here and there. And as for the rest, I don't know anybody else. Oh yeah, I think I do know the actor who played Rafiki from The Lion King. I'm surprised that he was there in the film, since I love his voice and I do love his character playing the doctor. I mean, there's a whole lot of interesting costs to choose from. And also, we did know about that dude who played Carl. I feel bad for this guy. Uh, he passed away some long time ago and says he was a giant. Well, I could say may rest in peace the beloved cute giant guy who played Carl. He's such a sweet man overall. So I have nothing else to say, so I think the costing was a very well done choice. Overall. And also, I fell in love with the near ending. That's my second strongest point of the film, is the near ending. I love the part will, where Will, um, Edward Bloom's son, um, Will is going to do the best he, he can to tell his father the last and final story. It may be fictional, but in Edward's case, he wished that this story can be true. A story where he needs to go to the river and he can finally rest in peace at long last. So he could say goodbye to so many people that he care about. And no wonder that Edward Bloom is such a popular dude. Because he's a great storyteller and he loves to tell stories. And he's a kind and gifted person. If you know what I mean. So yeah, I will say for the two best strongest points for this movie is the costing for all the actors and actresses. And also the great near ending. And as for the weakest points for the movie, finally, it's zero. I have no weak points at all for this movie. This movie is perfectly flawless in so many ways. Hands down. Um, as for the character-wise, I don't have much things to say about the characters. All of them are pretty good in so many ways, but I will stay with one character who is truly the best one out of everybody else. And that is Edward Bloom, played by our dear, beloved Ewan McGregor and some actor I don't know of who played the older Edward Bloom. I fell in love with this character. He is one of the best characters I have ever seen in movie history. And he's one of the best characters who had the most greatest storyline of all the other characters that we all know and love from all great films. I mean, this guy has a fantastic storyline, he has a great personality and attitude, he's such a great storyteller, and I love all the stories about his adventures, about what he did in his life, from both young and old and alike, or just back when he was so darn young. I will say my most favorite story that he ever told, you know, when he was talking to Will's wife, about the time when he was so darn young, he was about to get married to the girl of his dreams, but sadly he lost her during the circus time. And Edward Blue was going to try really hard to do his job, doing his the best he could to keep his job for just a little while, while the real, the ringmaster, played by our beloved Danny DeVito, is going to tell him about this girl in every month until, you know, one day he he really wants to get to know the girl's name. So yeah, I think the circus one was truly my most favorite tall tale story of all the other stories that, you know, that he told in the 
whole entire film. That hard for me to say. So yeah, I love Elward Bloom. I think this is Ewan McGregor's best character, his best performance, and his best role. I just love this character to death. And this is one of the best Ewan McGregor characters I will never forget in movie history who does have a fantastic, epic, unique, and a good original storyline. That's all I could say about Edward Bloom. All for, as for the other characters, I just love them all in so many ways. All of them are memorable. So anyway, ladies and dudes, let's head on to my final thoughts of Big Fish. Overall, Big Fish is one of the best Tim Burton films of all time. This movie is truly an epic masterpiece movie indeed, somewhere around in the 2000 area. It had a great epic storyline, great characters, great casting from all actors and actresses alike. It had a great epic score by Danny Elfman. Um, it has great special effects, great series and highlight moments of the film. And yes, this movie really did blew me away big time. And and also had a good near ending as well. I love the near ending of this movie. So for my rating for this movie, I decided to give this film a perfect high rating score of 10 out of 10. Check out this movie to believe it. And I hope and pray that one of these days we need to find that big giant fish who took away Edward Blue's wedding ring, if you know what I mean. So yeah, this is a great film overall. Please check out this movie right now. And that's my whole entire movie review of Big Fish. And finally, join me next time, so around the summertime, I will do my 100th movie review. And I don't know what it is yet. And also, ladies and dudes, please tell me your top 10 most favorite movie reviews that I did for the last 5 or 6 years ago when I did my movie review from Taken all the way to this one called Big Fish. You know, all my Liam Neeson movie reviews, and my animated reviews, some underrated movie reviews, and so much more. Tell me your top 10 most favorite movie reviews that I did for the last 5 or 6 years ago. Well, whichever they are, leave a comment there and let me know. And I'll see you all in my 100th movie review. This is going to be epically exciting. So, I'll see you guys later. Sayonara!